very good morning students i welcome you all for the mad lab uh, program like mad lab application lab program 4 the program you have to design and develop a wallpaper application so this is the question which is given now you have to develop an application to set an image as a wallpaper you have to click the button and wallpaper images should start change randomly for every second so here you all can see like i have downloaded in the desktop around four images you have to save the images either with respect to jpeg or jpg or png these are the three formats it is going to support in the desktop you all can see i have saved 1 2 3 4 these are the four images i have saved and this i am going to copy and paste it in the drawable folder this is this this is the first thing you have to do because you have to change the wallpaper so once that is been done so this is the given program so you have to set an image as an wallpaper and uh, on clicking the button the wallpaper image should start changing randomly for every second so in order to perform this you have to do the design first you have to create an application with your convenient name here i have given wallpaper activity secondly once you start an android studio after creating the name to an application you have to go to the xml code there you have to change the layout to relative layout that means you will be moving the cursor two sides cursor will be moved with respect to two sides you have to fix the relative layout once it is been done you have to add the text view so in the text view you can give the text name attribute as wallpaper application and size you can give that adb and you should align it center later you have to add the button and give the text name as click here to change wallpaper and give the size as 38 once it is been done the important step here you have to remember is you have to download like four to five images here i have written five images give the convenient name and copy paste and save it in the drawable folder you have to do this this is the additional step once it is been done now you have to move to the java part in the java part you all can see first you have to declare the variables these are the variables which is required for the program here you all can see since we are working with the button like on click listener button so that is why we are using the built in class button and this is the variable which i am using this will be used as a reference everywhere change wallpaper and next since picture or screen saver should change every 30 seconds that is why timer is required so here i am using the timer as a class and my time is the variable which will be defined as a reference for timer and uh, as you all know that we are working with a drawable folder this program is completely dependent on drawable folder the image has to be converted to bitmap that is why drawable class is required and it is stored in drawable uh, variable if it is declared as drawable next you all know that we are using predefined service or inbuilt service which is available in the package that is wallpaper manager you have to change the wallpaper that is why we are using the built in service wallpaper manager and variable is wpm so here we have to traverse from first image to fifth image that is why here i am declaring one variable called previous initially the value will be stored as one so this is majorly used for traversing from one Uh, first image to fifth image that is why you require one variable value called one and here you have to remember camel case naming convention camel case naming convention is nothing but in this variable the change wallpaper the first letter you all can see now it is in upper case if you don't use a camel case convention then it will throw warning warning can be neglected but it is better if you use camel case naming convention once it is been done next you have to recognize the button you have to recognize the uh, you have to recognize the timer so how do you recognize the timer first you should recognize the timer so here you should call the timer new timer is a method you should call the timer then only timer will since you are changing 30 seconds you have to declare the method called timer next you have to you have to call the wallpaper manager get instance that means in this activity wallpaper manager should be called and you have to get instance means you are calling that and you are passing uh, context of this java application you have to call the method get instance that will be stored in wallpaper manager 
Next, you are passing the identi ID, uh, identification that how you are going to identify the component. So for the button, so we are passing that ID. So if you want to identify any particular component, then you have to call the method find view by ID. So button will be the reference and it will be stored in change wallpaper. So these are the initial uh, like um, recognition you have to do initially. You should call the timer and you should call get instance method to pass the context of this application. Then you have to pass the ID of the particular component which you're going to add. Now your logic will start. So when the user clicks the button, set on click listener, action listener will get initiated. And by default, it will call an overridden method called on click. Here I'm using the here I'm using the build uh, like user defined method. You can also write this entire set wallpaper logic here only. But since various braces uh, will be there so that it, it leads to a confusion, that is why here I'm using set wallpaper is a uh, um, method user defined method which I'm defining. So the logic for the user defined method here you have. So once the user clicks the action listener, okay, set on click listener will start, then set wallpaper. It is, it will ask you to create a method. So method applicable only for this program activity. That is why here it is private. So first we'll call the timer every 30 seconds, the wallpaper should start. So that is why you have to call the method schedule. When you call the method schedule, so automatically overridden run method will arrive. So if previous is equals to one, we'll call the drawable where all the images is being placed. So you're going to call, if when previous is equals to one, you're calling the first image. Get drawable will get that image and get resources where this complete line will get the, will call the images which has to be placed. The first image will be called over here. So the first logo will appear on the wallpaper when you call this. Again, the previous has been updated to two. And wallpaper will arrive in the form of bitmap. Next, previous will be two. Next, you're calling the second image. Get drawable will call the second image, whatever you have stored, and you're updating the previous value to three. And again, previous value will set to three. Again, if else if we are here, we are using the else if ladder. Again, you're calling the third image and previous value will get updated to four. Similarly, fourth image, you're calling the fourth uh, image from the drawable folder. It previous value will get updated to five. Similarly, fifth image, you're calling the fifth image and previous value again, it's a cycle. It will reach to previous is equals to one. So here we call the bitmap. Okay, while running, uh, like we are storing the image in the form of bitmap. That is why you should use the class bitmap. Wallpaper is the object. Okay, uh, so drawable is there in this bit, bitmap drawable folder. You will call the get bitmap. So when you use this line, why we are using this line is nothing but uh, to display the image in the form of bitmap. So whenever you are using the line, you will get an exception. To avoid that exception, there might be a chances of expect exception. To avoid that, you are using uh, try and catch. So in the try, we are using set bitmap and we are passing that wallpaper. And in the catch, if any exception arrives from the print track, uh, stack trace, it is going to display an error message. Okay, this is what you're going to do. And here you all can see we have a delay zero. We have a delay zero. That means we are not waiting for any second. And this is 30,000 milliseconds. 30,000 milliseconds is equals to 30 seconds. This is the code. And this is how you're going to get the output. So we'll see it line by line. We'll see the execution line by line. So what is the first step? You have to go to file, new project, select empty activity and give next year I'm giving wallpaper, wallpaper activity. This is the name which I'm giving, finish. So two supporting files will get loaded. One is XML file and one more is Java file. As you all can see, go to the XML file. It is loading. So once you create the file, what is the second step? The second step is so 
so still it is loading so now we have to do the design yes now see when you click the is a res folder you will get a drawable folder what i'll do i'll just copy paste all the images see here right click in the drawable folder and paste see automatically when you click one two jpg image arrived similarly copy and paste similarly copy and paste the fourth image so once it is done now this is the first step you have to do and next move to the activity xml go to the code part and change the layout to relative layout so here you should change to here you should change to relative layout so intellisense will arrive automatically select the intellisense so just select this uh, before xmlns and delete this and just type capital r automatically intellisense will arrive select a relative layout once you select the relative layout okay now you have fixed the layout move to the design part now move to the design part here you drag and drop the text view fix the relative layout and here you give the name as wallpaper application as a text name see place the cursor in your convenient place and click here and give the text name as click here give the attribute as wallpaper application the same name will arrive and increase the size increase the size to your convenient size and adjust this design once it is been done next you have to drag and drop the button because user has to click so here fix the relative layout the second component which i am adding is the button okay once it is been done give the text name click here to change wallpaper this is the name which i am giving and increase the size you can select the attribute and you can give the size so this is the design part this is the design part once the design part is been done now you have to move to the java so in the java part after public class main activity extends app compact activity you have to declare the variables so here i have already told you have to use button as the class you have to use button as the class so here i am using button so intellisense will arrive i am declaring the variable as c my convenient variable i am using similarly timer so timer and i am declaring as t for as a reference then you require drawable and i am declaring it as d and similarly you require a wallpaper manager capital w you should use wallpaper manager i am 
using the wallpaper manager as WPM as my reference. So these are the variables which is required and these are the built-in classes which is required for my program. So next, I'm declaring, I have to traverse from first image to fourth image. That is why I'm declaring int previous is equals to one or I can declare n is equals to one to traverse. So these are all the variables that is required for my program. So button, because since we are working with the button and timer, you all know 30 seconds, it will be changed and uh, images are there in the drawable folder and wallpaper manager is the inbuilt service where actually it changes the wallpaper and to traverse from first image to another uh, fifth, uh, fourth image, we are using one variable called n is equals to one, which indicates we are in first image. When n is equals to two, it indicates we are in the like wallpaper um, will change the second image. After that, we have to recognize the timer. First, we have to recognize the timer. So as you all know that after set content view, you have to call the timer T. Now T is the timer. You have to call new is the dynamic memory allocation. It will call the timer. Next, you have to call get instance with respect to wallpaper manager. And you should pass context of this Java program. Next, you have to call find view by ID to identify the component. So the same ID you should use. Next, you should call on click listener. So automatically you'll get a overridden method. So here you should call the built-in user defined method called set wallpaper. So initially you'll get an error once you define So once you define separately, if, if, if you're writing the logic, it will automatically change. It will automatically change. So next, you have to write logic for that set wallpaper. So private, private void set wallpaper. So here I'm defining the method. Next you have, you have to write the logic within this. Next T is the timer dot schedule. should call the timer task method. So automatically run will get overridden. So if n is equals to one, we are calling the image. So here I have declared D. So you have to use the same variable D is equals to get resources dot get drawable. So or dot ID dot one. That means you're calling the first image. Like O N E one. Or dot drawable. You have to use because it is there in drawable folder drawable dot one. See now it appeared. Similarly, you update n value to two. So here I'm using else if ladder, else if n is equals to two, 
else if n is equals to 2 which image we are calling second image get resource dot get drawable or dot drawable dot two and update n to three next else if n is equals to three we are calling the third image get resources dot get drawable or dot drawable dot three third image we are calling and update n value to four similarly else if n value is equals to four D is equals to get resources dot get drawable or dot drawable dot four. So here it should be three because we are calling the third image. So once you are done with fourth image, once you call the fourth image, I'm again. Moving on to the first image. When you initialize n is equals to one, you are again moving on to the first image. So once it is being done, next you should call the bitmap class bitmap. So bitmap because we are saving the image with respect to bitmap wallpaper. Bitmap drawable, which is there in the folder drawable So bitmap wallpaper is equals to bitmap drawable you have to use the drawable dot get bitmap so here you have to use drawable so once you close automatically it will be correct dot get bitmap So when you use this line, you may get error. So what you have to do, you have to use try, try catch. So when you are using try, you are setting the wallpaper. So WPM dot set bitmap wallpaper. You are setting the image. So you will get it in red color. You have to take the permission here. You have to click see when you use this line, when you are setting the bitmap, that means you are converting the image to the bitmap. So you have, when you are using this, you have to take, since the images are uh, will be stored, it is a system application. You have to take the permission. You have to right click and you have to select show context action, add permission. See automatically, that error will get removed. So after that, you have to use catch.
catch i o exception e is the variable e dot e dot print stack trace if any error is there from print stack trace method it is going to print the error message so this is your program so here you all can see here so first we are initializing the variables next we are recognizing the variables next we are calling the user defined method here we are we have written the logic run method when the user calls run it will call the first image and it will call the second image and it will call the third image it will call the fourth image and image should be converted to the bitmap and delay we should give here zero delay we should give here zero and uh, 30000 milliseconds is equals to 30 seconds this is what you have to type once it is been done now i'll execute this program so click emulator so gradle build is running so now here i have saved uh, four images so automatically the four images will change for every 30 second so uh, still the gradle build is running you have to wait until all the built in services get executed with respect to the application it is launching now launch is succeeded you will get children you have to get the message like this launch succeeded see now this is what i have designed and the same wallpaper application arrive here to check the output user has to click uh, here to change wallpaper and you have to exit from this application by clicking here so once you are exiting so you will get the images if this is the first image after 30 seconds it will change the first image so after 30 seconds the wallpaper will change to the second image the second image arrived the college logo which i have added so how much ever portion it will fit to this uh, mobile that much portion only it is taking this is the second image college logo after 30 seconds one more image will get added this is the third image which i have saved the form of jpg see now wallpaper is getting changed next one is the fourth image after this you will get the fourth image after fourth again it will move to the first image
see it has moved the first image. Hope you all have understood. Thank you all.